All right, let me address this Rob McCracken fanboy club thing because I'm really not going to, I'm really, I, I just can't understand it really. Uh, PMNH or whatever, I'm going to use your comment as an example. So don't take things too personally if you know, well, you know how I talk, you know, some people can't take it. They take it personal and they get mad and shit like that. Okay, first things first, I'm addressing what you said. Um, You basically saying that I wasn't, saying shit about Rob McCracken when Anthony Joshua was winning. You would be wrong. Uh, take a look at this right here. Okay? I've been saying this about Rob McCracken. Okay? Been saying it. You know what I'm saying? You see these videos is two and three years old. Okay? I said this while he was winning. I've been on Rob McCracken ass since he allowed Anthony Joshua to come into that Klitschko fight fluffy and heavy as fuck. Okay? I been saying, what kind of coach is going to let you come into one of the most important fights of your career this out of shape and gassed? I've been saying that since then. So we can scratch that. That's nothing new. It wasn't like I was loving Rob McCracken while he was winning. I wasn't. I've been saying this stuff about him. Okay? So it's nothing new. Okay? Uh, the other thing is, you, if you listen to the video, I clearly said that I'm going to say something that probably most of you are going to disagree with. That's the first thing I said before I suggested my opinion, okay? Because that usually that is why you listen to one of my videos, like you want to hear my opinion. So I said it off gate that I'm going to say something that most of you are going to disagree with, you know? And, and I said, you know what route I'm looking at. Go at Sugar Hill Stewart. Now, you said something about that's like you uh, letting Blue Blood take credit for improving your channel or something like that. Blue Blood could never take credit for improving my channel unless he was a better content creator than me. Is he a better content creator than me? Even with his numbers bigger, bigger and all, but he's been around way longer than me. Is he a better content creator than me? No. At this point in time, can we say that Tyson Fury is a better boxer than Anthony Joshua? Yes. So that would make sense. And number two, the credit is not going to Tyson Fury. I'm talking about working with Sugar Hill Stewart, period. And is there some stuff that um, Anthony Joshua can learn from Tyson Fury? Yes. But you acting like they haven't shared the ring before. You acting like Anthony Joshua hasn't took a trip over to Tyson Fury's gym to help him train. You act like he wasn't part of his sparring squad before. I mean, you. I mean, that's what you're saying. And clearly he was. But it's not about nobody taking credit for this, this, that, and the third. See, what you don't seem to understand is what you're talking about deals with ego. It deals with ego i'm talking about making the proper adjustments and having humility and putting all ego stuff to a side to get better what you're talking about is from an ego aspect like would you let blue blood take credit for improving your channel and something like that if i honestly wanted to get better and if he honestly could add something or give me something that i don't have which he doesn't you know then Yes, I would. For the sake of just getting better, if it's really that important to me. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It it doesn't matter who gets credit for what at the end of the day. If I want to get better at something, and if I want to get good at it, I'm going to take that shirt off whoever back it is. You know? Because it's only, see, in fighting, you know, when you have an ego, you stop learning. OK, you can't have the ego. There's been plenty of times I have stepped to people that I necessarily didn't like, that I necessarily didn't favor, that I necessarily didn't even get along with. And they knew it. But the fact that I came to them and I was like, hey, man, you know, can you show me how you do that one thing right there? You, you know what I'm saying? And they knew this. So the fact that I came to them and they know that we don't like each other, they knew what it took for me to come to them. And ask them, 
yo, can you help me on my game with this? You know, you may be an asshole. You may be a dickhead. You know what I'm saying? You may be this, but you do do this well. You know what I'm saying? And for that aspect alone, they admired me for it. They was like, because I wouldn't have come to you to pick up these skills because it's a lot you do right. And it's a lot I want you to show me, but I would have never came up to you. I'm like, yeah, dog, if you good, you good. You know what I'm saying? Your skill set, like I can separate, I can compartmentalize. You know what I'm saying? If you the best at if you the best at in the gym at doing this, or if you the best one to sharpen my iron with or whatever and, and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna allow me to learn with you, yeah, I'm gonna link up with you. I don't have no ego. That's what makes me powerful at the end of the day. That also is the reason why um a lot of people speak on my knowledge, not just in fighting, but just in general, like life and aspects. And it's like really uh, some profound shit sometime. And a lot of people write me on the side like, man, I ain't never heard nobody put it like that. You want to know why I got all these tricks and life lessons and wisdom and knowledge and stuff like that? Because I learned from the highest person on the totem pole to the lowest. Everybody has something to offer. I didn't disregard them because they were older than me. I didn't disregard them because they were younger than me. I didn't disregard them because I'm more successful than them and they're on a lower level than me or this, 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 that, this, that, and the third, or this is a kid or he doesn't have half the experience. I use everything like the philosophy of um, Bruce Lee, which is the foundation of mixed martial arts. You know what I'm saying? Never limit yourself to one style. Take what you need that you can apply and move on. I also do that with people. I also do that with information. I also do that when it comes to fighting. I also do that when it comes to styles. I also do that when it comes to styles of learning, uh, uh, different aspects, whether it's from somebody who's coming from a scientific aspect or a religious aspect or this aspect. I investigate all sides to figure out what's best for me and what helped me connect the dots and what helps me to get to where I want to go. So to answer your question, would I allow Blue Blood to say that he helped improve my chance if he could really improve it, but he can't, you know what I'm saying? But Tyson can really help out Anthony Joshua, but it's not about Tyson. I'm talking about Sugar Hill. And most importantly, I told you that a lot of you are not going to agree with it simply because the fact the ego gets in the way, okay? So this is why I knew a lot of people wouldn't agree with it because a lot of y'all are ego-driven. When you learn how to suspend that ego for the greater good and the betterment of yourself, that's when you're really going to start making leaps and bounds in life. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you got to get humble. Sometimes you got to bring yourself down to this level. Sometimes you got to go down to come up, you know? And it's a lot of things that I learned from people that I turned out once they showed me, I got better at it than them. Kind of how Drake did uh, Big Sean style, you know what I'm saying? Because the style that Drake had for flowing, that super duper flow was originally Big Sean's, okay? But he took that and he freaked that shit to a new level, okay? Michael Jackson emulated um, uh, James Brown, and um, uh, Sammy Davis Jr. But he took it to a new level. But that's who he emulated first. But he took it to a new level, you know? So this is why you want to make sure you can humble yourself to learn these things. I'm pretty sure when Imp Man was showing Bruce Lee all his stuff, you know what I'm saying? Imp Man was the best. But once Bruce Lee got a hold of it, he took it to another level, you know? It's not about... It's it's not about having an ego or somebody making you better. It's who can who can who who can set a spark, you know what I'm saying, which will cause a flame. And you can create your own roaring fire. And your fire might grow the biggest in the land. You know what I'm saying? They might be able to see your fire for miles and miles and miles, far beyond the person who showed you how to make a fire. That's why you want to take ego out of the way when it comes to learning. So maybe that helped explain it to you maybe that'll help explain that to other people why i think like that and stuff like that and at the end of the day man i'm a detroit cat what you expect i'm out